Welcome back. And so we come in a tradition as fixed as the North Star to Endgame. But what is it and how much is it worth? Well, these are very worthy and very good questions, both answered tonight deep within the Endgame envelope, delivered to us tonight in the spirit of tonight's special family episode tonight by my own son, Roger McAuliffe. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Um, tonight's endgame is worth 12 points, which means anybody can win. And ask the question, which generation is best at... Thank you, Stuart. Filling a car with ping-pong balls. Yes, tonight we are keeping our two key oh. sponsors, Triganello Ping Pong oh Balls, mm, they bounce, and Mitsubishi, <laughs> very happy by featuring them prominently in this end game. Now, our team's task is very simple. Using only a shovel, a wheelbarrow, and a thing full of 25,000 Triganello Ping Pong Balls, mm, they bounce, <laughs> our teams must fill to the brim a brand new, and until now, not dented with a shovel, Mitsubishi <laughs> ASX. <laughs> First to finish wins the day, the night, the prize, and your heart. What's Starting that? from oh, quick, now. Quick. Oh, no, no, no. oh, you can take that. Okay. Try not to spill any of the balls. Oh, yeah. Let's take it over now. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll uh, give you some interesting facts about ping pong balls. Uh, here we go. Amanda, you'll like this. Ping pong diplomacy describes a thawing in the relationship between China and the United States during the 1970s. Yeah. Is that interesting? Yeah. I don't think you got any in on that one. No. Oh no. Keep going, Amanda. That's no, okay. Josh is everything. That's all right. No, that's oh, part of the course, isn't it? Here we are. Mao Zedong was an excellent table tennis player and beat Richard Nixon 21-9, oh, no, no, no. uh, 21-4. In a, uh, in, a, Sorry, in a best Sean. if that's all right. I'd like I... to be more interested. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's all right. It's a very interesting yeah, story. Be rude. Basically, what happened was Mao Zedong beat Richard Nixon in a best of three uh, table tennis match, billed as the Hong of Kong, it was called. Put it down. Fascinating. Wow. Did you know that table tennis balls are made of celluloid? Is that interesting? I've got celluloid. No, that doesn't work. Oh, my God. Hey, Charlie, here's an interesting fact. Yes, Sean. In Neolithic times, an animal's scapula, or his shoulder braid, well, was often used no, as no, a no, ping no, pong good, ball. No, good. That's what it says here. Oh, where are we going? Same again. Same again. Hey, Mona, here's an interesting fact. We do this at home every weekend. What? Actually, I'll help you over, Mona. I'll take, I'll take you over to the car, if yeah, you like. Hey, yeah, no, no, that's all right. Is there a better way? Oh, to, yeah. 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 <laughs> Put them in there, you see. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll help you. This one. No! Stop that! Stop that! I'm sorry, Jeff. Grandma! Grandma! You grab the Korea! You grab these balls, OK? You grab those balls! You grab these ones! You put them in our car! Drop them there! Is that the wrong one? No! We're using those two! Interesting fact about the wheelbarrow, Amanda. Yes, I'm fascinated, Sean. Tell me. The wheelbarrow may have been invented by, <laughs> by ancient Greece. <laughs> All right, we've only got um, ten more seconds. He's gone. Ten, He's gone. nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it.
Be very, be very careful. Be very careful. Um, well, the award tonight, uh, I don't know, basically, who... Who won? I don't think anybody really won. No I don't one think anybody won. really covered themselves in glory tonight. But one person who was covered in something tonight, <laughs> who I think deserves this award personally and by herself, the first person of her generation to appear on this show to be covered in sour cream. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mona Hale wins tonight. <laughs> That's just for your grandmother. It's not for you. It's not was, for you at all. Look, how was I meant to win that challenge with the, her? <laughs> so, oh, hi. so did, did Mona not do enough for you tonight? <laughs> well, thanks very much to our special guest tonight, Harley Oliver, Susie Pickering, and of course, Grandma Mona Hale. <laughs> and also our team wonder stuffs, Amanda, Charlie, and Josh. Until next week, I leave you with this to ponder. Why do unicyclists bother wearing helmets? Surely if they were interested in road safety, they would simply ride a normal bike with handlebars. <laughs> Very irritating. Good night, everybody.